In this tutorial, we'll discuss a new accelerated workflow for motion graphics that's been developed in the last decade where 3D departments build motion graphics packages that can be used and reused just by changing out a few elements and re-rendering within the compositing software instead of the 3D package. A few common examples of this include sports packages where you can change out team logos, broadcast packages where you can change out station IDs, or any other project that you need the ability to quickly or regularly change out a particular 3D element of the composite. We did a tutorial a while ago using Cinema 4D Multipass. You can check that out too. The link is in the description. Today we will use elements that were generated in Maya using the Arnold renderer. What we also did is tag some objects so they generate per object ID in a single file using something called Cryptomat. Cryptomat is the open source standard used to create ID mats developed by PSYOP. It's supported in most compositing packages and efficiently resolves the issue of automatically generating consistent ID mats from renders featuring motion blur, transparency, and depth of field. We will see examples of this workflow using Remap Cryptomat to create reusable 3D renders in some of the popular compositing software applications such as After Effects, Resolve Fusion, and Flame. Before we start in After Effects, we'll see how to set up to render out the AOV Cryptomat files. Here in the Render Settings, we choose EXR Format. We uncheck Half Precision and we also uncheck Merge AOVs. This is so that the render outputs separate sequences, each one a specific AOV. Now we go to the AOVs tab and go down the list and choose Crypto Object Cryptomat and select the double arrow. You can see that it is now an active AOV. We also want to add a UV pass. We have to add custom. We call it UV and then select Create. You can see that the custom UV is added and you can see the settings that are open automatically by default. We need to go to custom UV in the settings and choose the icon next to shader. This is where we choose the specific shader to achieve the UV pass. We see here an Arnold shader and select AI utility. Here in the color mode, we choose UV chords and in the shade mode, we choose flat. That's it. We can render this by going to Arnold, Render Arnold View, and then Render. The render settings in this case are low quality, so we can check the result quickly. We are seeing the beauty pass, but if we select here, we can toggle to the other passes. The UV render pass, which is correct. We have different UVs for the flags, the banners, in the stadium. And if we go to the crypto object, we can confirm that different object groups have different crypto mat ID. If we select the flags, we can isolate them. So in After Effects or Flame or Resolve or other applications that use crypto mats, we can easily create mats for the flags, banners, middle banners, players. Next, we can see how to composite these render passes first in AE and then Resolve Fusion in Flame to follow. Here we are in After Effects, and now that you have already rendered out the UV and crypto object passes, we'll see how to utilize them to replace the banners and the flags with our own logos. You can imagine how useful this can be for sporting events, or try to even use your imagination further to apply this concept to anything that can be used and reused with just simply replacing logos or station IDs or weather or dog show winners, you get it. We use the Revision Effects Remap plugin for that part. Note, in Remap UV, we also have Adaptive Sharpen now. Here we have our Render Passes, our Beauty Pass, our UV Pass, and our Crypto Object Pass. Don't worry that the Crypto Map Pass is black. We're not able to see it yet. First, we have our Beauty Pass, and we can add the Crypto Object layer in order to create the Crypto Map. We can select the Crypto Object layer, and we go to Effect, 3D Channel, Crypto Map, this is included in AE since the 2020 version. Here we see the crypto objects. We can select different objects from the scene pressing Shift and pressing Alt we can remove objects. In this case I want to select the advertising banners first and in output we select matted colors. Now you can see that we have the specific mat for the advertising banners. We can hide that for now. We want to replace the logos with our logo. Also, we will replace the flags with this logo flag. We can drop the logos 
into our composition as well and hide them for now. Next, we drop the UV render pass into the composition. We applied the 3D channel, extractor, to correctly interpret the EXR format, and now we can apply revision effects, remap UV. We see the red screen because we've not selected the texture yet. We just go to texture and select revision effects logo black. It's correctly mapped, but we want to only see this layer in the banners. This is where CryptoMat comes in handy. In the track mat column, we can choose Luma mat. Now you can see that it's correctly tracking and the mat is isolating what we don't need. Now we can repeat the process for these flags. We drop the crypto object layer into our composition again. We apply the crypto mat effect and this time we choose the flags. We set output to matted colors and we can hide the layer. We drop another UV layer in under the crypto object layer in the composition and select 3D channel extractor. Next, we add revision plugins remap UV and for texture this time, we choose revision effects flags. Now to isolate those flags, we select the UV layer and under track mat, we choose luma mat crypto object. Now you can see that we've changed the banner's texture and the flag's texture. You can imagine how easy it is to change those textures whenever you want now that we have those mats set up. And you can see in the scene where it is a little more complex, we've mapped another logo into the Jumbotron, more logos along the banners just by using the crypto objects. There are so many possibilities. Now we can see how to do the same thing in Resolve Fusion. Now we see this same example and we'll see how to replace the flags and the banner textures in Fusion using Remap UV. First thing is that you need to have Reactor plugin installed in order to have the CryptoMap plugin. It's simple to do that. You just go to the Reactor download page and download the installer script and just drop the installer into the interface and select Install and Launch. In the Fusion Reactor window, we just need to check the CryptoMap box and install and then after the installer installs, you'll have to restart Resolve. Note, this plugin only works in Resolve Studio version. Now we can start from scratch. We have our inputs, the beauty pass, the UV pass, the texture for the flags, and the texture for the banners, and the crypto object that's not visible right now. We can start with CryptoMat. We select Crypto Object and go to Tools, Mat, CryptoMat, and we can activate the left view. In the right view, we can see the beauty pass. We can select the crypto mat node and select a flag and all the flags mats will activate and we select add. And then we can create another crypto mat node for the banners. Select the crypto object and tools mat crypto mat again. We actually wanted the crypto mat to be attached to the crypto object. So easy enough to disconnect and reconnect in the right place. Now we select the banners and add. We also have to add the medium banner and select add again. Now we have the flags mat and the banners mat. Next is the UV pass. We can view the UV pass on the right viewer now. We select the UV node and select revision effects remap UV and we can view it on the right viewer. Again, we see a red output because we need to select the texture. We can attach the input of remap UV to the RVFX logo flag node. You can see it correctly mapped, but we need to mat out all of the other stuff. So the next step would be to comp the flags using the mat. With remap UV selected, we can add a composite merge node. Here, the yellow input is the background, so we can attach that to the beauty render node output. As the foreground, we can attach the remap UV node output. Now in the effect mask, we can attach the crypto mat one output, which is the flags mat. Now you can see we have a clean composite of our flags. This texture can provide any logo just like we saw in After Effects. We will repeat the process with the banners now just to make it perfectly clear. We start by adding another composite merge node. For this one, we're going to keep the background from the first comp merge node. We can create another remap UV node and the source will be the same UV AOV node. The texture for this one will be the logo banner and we can see that it's correctly mapped, but we need to isolate those banners with the mat. So we can use the output of this node to the foreground of the Merge 2 node, 
And as the effect mask, we can use the Crypto Matte 2 node. And look at that, we've done it again. See how easy that was? Now we can see how to do this in Autodesk Flame. We are here in the batch schematic and we have imported our inputs. We have the Beauty Pass, the Crypto Matte. Again, it's black, but we'll see it later. Special note, in Flame, when you want to import any multi-channel EXR sequence, you need to choose in the import settings, the multi-channel clip option. Otherwise, it won't work. Then we have the UV AOV render layer, the revision effects logo, and the banner layers. First, we'll use the crypto mat. We select the layer and select shift, which reveals different objects. We can add the crypto mat node. In the crypto mat node, we can see several inputs that say 00, 01, 02, etc. We connect the corresponding outputs to the inputs that match on the node. 00 to 00, 01 to 01, 02 to 02, and the respective alpha channels as well. We don't use the crypto object one. For the front, we connect the beauty pass. Now we select the crypto mat effects node. We can select and add and tap on the flags. We can rename them flags mat to keep them straight. We have different outputs on the crypto mat node. They are out mat 1, 2, 3, 4. For the first one, we set the flags. Then we can select add again. And this time we add the banners. We will need to add the middle banner section after. We can change the color this time by tapping in the color box. We choose red this time and set output to out mat 2 and change the name to banners. Now we add again for the middle banner. We can make this one red as well and also make the output to outmat2. We can also rename it banners. So for output 1, we will see the flags, and output 2, we will see the banners. We can go to the UV pass, and we're going to use the flag texture. We can go to FX nodes and add open effects node. We can double click and choose revision effects remap UV. It's important to note that in Flame, we have a limitation, which is that the different inputs need to have the same resolution. So what we can do about that in this case is that we have full HD UV map, and the textures are a different resolution. In this case, the textures are smaller. This is a common scenario, so we'll see a workaround. We're going to resize the logo to match the resolution of the UV map. We can go to Format and add a resize node. If we press the Shift key, we can automatically connect here where we want. If we double click on the node, it will take us to the effect settings. By default, the destination is set to the project size. So by default, it's center crop and full HD, which is what we want. So now if we go to the Remap UV node, we can see an output. It's not correctly mapped because it assumes that our texture is full HD size, which is not correct in this case. You can see the correct input resolution here, and so we go back to the resize node settings and we can set the actual input width and height of the texture, which is 300 by 1000. Now we can see that the flags are properly mapped, but we also see that there's a lot of extra stuff that we don't need. This is where the crypto mats come in handy again. We go back to the FX nodes and Comp tab and a Comp node. We will use the Beauty Pass as the background input, and for the front, we'll choose the Remap output, but we only want to apply it in the Flags mat. So we select the Crypto Mat output 1 and connect it to the Mat input on the Comp node. Now you can see that the flags are mapped correctly, and there are no extra elements. Now we'll repeat the process again on the banners. We go to the FX and add another open effects node. Double click and add the remap UV effect. We connect the UV map output to the input on the remap UV node. And then we attach the texture of the banner, but again there is no result because the UV map and the banner inputs have different resolutions. We can add another resize node by going to format resize and shift connect it. Double click to see the settings. Again, it's the correct output by default at full HD. Again, in the Remap UV node settings, we need to set the specific resolution of the texture. 
In this case, it's 544 by 217. We see that the logo is correctly mapped, but there are the extra elements that need to be matted out. Since we need to add another comp node to do that, we go to FX nodes and comp and add a comp node. The background is the output of the first comp node, and the front is our remap output. And the mat, this time we use the second output of the crypto mat. And there it is. Now you see we've correctly mapped the flags and the banners with the new logos for the flags and the banners. You can see from these three examples how easy it is to accomplish this effect. You can use different UV files and different crypto mats, of course, to get different types of remapping, but now you know how to use the tools in After Effects, Resolve Fusion, and in Flame. Mm -hmm.